folks, today is going to be a blast. We're going to be running the LT40 sawmill and we're cutting some beautiful red cedar. Stick around and we'll show you what it looks like once we wet it down. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're cutting this into one inch material. Guys, tell me if you would cut it differently. I might have cut it. I'm cutting it for another guy. I might have cut this at about two and a half inches if it were me. Let me know what you think. How thick would you cut this? Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and my partner Mrs. Stony Ridge and today we're going to be firing up the Woodmiser LT40 sawmill. So we've got the TYM 254 tractor over here with the pallet forks on it and we're going to be picking up these cedar logs that Mrs. Stony Ridge is standing on. As you can tell, she's typically about right here. So <laughs> we're going to have a little bit of fun. This is Mrs. Stony Ridge's first time running the sawmill, uh, offloading the sawmill. So there's going to be a little bit of a learning process and we're going to be cutting into some beautiful, beautiful red cedar, eastern red cedar. And she's standing on an eastern red cedar log right there. There's three nice eastern red cedar logs. We're going to maximize the lumber we can get out of this. This lumber is going to be cut for a good friend of mine and he wants it all live edge. There's going to be a challenge cutting this small stuff live edge. Typically you're going to get a live edge out of the center cut and that'll be about it. So we're going to do our best for you Daniel but uh, most likely you're going to get about three good live edge cuts out of the center and then you'll get some good dimensional lumber. We're cutting everything to one inch. It's going to be a good time. Let's have some fun running the wood miser. Woohoo! Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. So the first step in this process is to take little T, the TYM 254, and pick up these logs. There are three different size logs. These logs have been laying on the ground. They're eastern red cedar. They've been laying on the ground for about two years. And we're going to bring them over here to the LT40. And the LT40 has an automatic hydraulic lift. So we're going to lift them up on the sawmill and we're going to be slicing off some beautiful, beautiful boards. As you can see, I've got a pile of lumber that needs to be milled up here. And we're going to be milling all that stuff up. So please stay tuned to the channel jump in subscribe i'd love to have you back mrs stony ridge can't be in every video because she works her job in town but we'll be back and we'll have some fun <laughs> so we're going to fire up the mill let it get warmed up and we're going to fire up the tractor we're going to move these logs over here and we're going to push them so we're going to lay the logs down here and push them up to where they'll fit the mill then we'll roll them up and get busy <laughs> Alright, so this is what we're doing here. We're going to offload our lumber onto, or Mrs. Stony Ridge is going to offload our lumber onto the pallet forks right here. And then my buddy's going to come over to the pickup about 2 o'clock this afternoon and pick up all this lumber. That stuff's heavy, so we may have to do two different stacks and just set them out here for him to load them up in his pickup. A uh, half ton pickup is going to be challenged by this amount of logs. So if you look over here, this cedar right here is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 inches through and the biggest one on the far end is probably about yeah, 22 inches or so around. Cedar keeps, cedar keeps forever. I told this guy, he doesn't know what he's gonna do with it. He might build like Adirondack chairs or something like that, but I told him, man, you are uh, <laughs> you're in for a treat because this stuff is just awesome. We'll show you guys here at the end of the video how beautiful this turns out. We'll pour a little water on it and wipe it off for you. 
it's just a it's a deep dark burgundy wood with a, a white outline and a lot of this darkness is heartwood just really dark heartwood now when it dries it'll turn brown again but uh, if you seal it off sand it seal it off it will stay red and beautiful so the lifeblood of any piece of equipment guys is lubrication 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 so before we even fire this machine up we're going to go up here this is a 38 horsepower Kohler Command Pro fuel injected engine this thing is a monster it's the LT40 extra wide in case you're considering buying a mill for yourself this thing is very very cool and you'll see the lift arms on the loader here in just a little bit but first thing we'll do is we'll check our oil before we fire it up and we're looking good we only have somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 hours on this machine so I'm not a pro yep 10.2 hours on this machine next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our ATF automatic transmission fluid and we're gonna coat all the rails that this thing slides on we're gonna put a little shot on each one of the rollers right here that's just what I do before we get rocking and rolling. So we know our oil is good, we can go ahead and start up the wood miser and get it running, get it warming up. Contact. We gotta make sure our blade is in the off position. Everything is in the off position. This is called the loop miser setup right here. This is lubricant right here that runs over the log to lubricate the blade. So we have to reattach all this because I took it apart. Last time we used this, the weather was freezing. Turn that on, it's ready to rock and roll. We'll also tighten this guy down. If you have a wood miser, <laughs> this is what will bust. <laughs> so you gotta be careful if it's freezing weather outside and make sure you put the appropriate fluid in here, whether it's soapy water or whether it's windshield washer fluid. And that's what's in here is about 90% windshield washer fluid. All right, so this is Stony Ridge is down here. And again, she's never ran this machine. What she's gonna be doing is offloading and she may be doing a little bit of cutting today too, but we're learning together. So you might see me stop and kind of explain stuff to her just a little bit. Everything here needs to be lubricated appropriately. We need to do a quick visual inspection of everything just so you know, Mrs. Stony Ridge, okay. so we don't mess up. This is dangerous. This is life-threatening stuff. We have to wear hearing protection, eye protection, and hand protection. So both of us will be wearing gloves. What we have to do is we have to tighten our blade up to 3,000 PSI, and it's a little over 3,000 for some reason. So 3,000 PSI is where we need to be. That handle's right there. It even says it on here, 2,800 to 3,000 PSI. We're gonna go around on the other side and I'll show you the debarker. We'll probably be using the debarker a little bit today. That helps to save the blade. So this is a debarker. It's got a carbide tip blade on it right here. It's an electric part of this machine. Uh, there is an alternator on here, just like a car, pretty much. It's got a little bit of dust. Some of the things that we're gonna need for running the wood miser are, hand me that can hook, please, honey. Um, we need a leaf blower uh, to ha handle the wood miser. We need to blow it off when we get done. We're using the three in one or four in one. Is this a three in one or four in one? <laughs> uh, this is the log ox, man. This is an awesome, awesome cant hook tool. It also can be used as a timber jack and it can be used for toting logs. So we use this every time we use the wood miser. Log ox, there'll be a link in the video description. Those guys are good friends of mine. So without further ado, Let's fire it up. We'll roll the logs over here onto the uh, log loader and roll them up on the deck. And we're gonna cut the big daddy first. So we're gonna let the big dog eat. Woo! Your job, our job together, first thing we gotta do when we slab off the top of this log is we gotta throw the slabs over in the slab pile and then we'll start cutting. We'll actually roll the log, we'll start cutting again and we'll cut one inch slices off of this log. A big old slab's gonna come off this thing and I'm not sure how red cedar's gonna cut. It's a softwood tree, but it's very hard. So it's gonna be a little curiosity here. It's gonna be fun.
Guys, this is absolutely beautiful. So, Mrs. Stony Ridge has yet to see this. This, this. I can't throw this away. This is going on the, <laughs> it's going on the, uh, it's going over there. It's too pretty to throw away. Look at this grain. <sighs> it's purple. It's almost purple, completely purple. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful wood. So we're just going to start one inch slices all the way down through here uh, as far as we can get and then we'll flip the log and do one inch slices after that. Guys, what do you think about this Eastern Red Cedar? Is that not beautiful? We're gonna get you a good close up here. What do you think, Mrs. Stony Ridge? What do you think about the sawmill? I think the sawmill is awesome. It's done a really good job cutting. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think you can see our blades a little bit dull right here. Wherever we hit a knot, it skipped over that knot. Yeah, but all bit. this will be planed down most likely. It won't be used in a rough cut situation like this, but we're gonna wet this down a little bit and show you guys just how beautiful this red grain is. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh man. Let's get you. It's really pretty. That. So that is eastern red cedar at its finest. Look at that. Look at the difference when it's not wet versus when I pour just a little bit of water on there so you can see. And it'll dry out. It's not hurting the wood at all. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful little knot right there. Man, that's some beautiful lumber. Yeah, very nice. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. The colors are really pretty. All right, guys, that's the lumber, that's the mill, and you know? that's Mrs. Stony Ridge's <laughs> first time working the mill. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. It's an impressive machine. It is, it is. I kind of need to do a blade change, but I'm going to do a blade change after I get cutting into these logs. Inevitably, when you're cutting into cedar logs like this, there's an old fence line, there are nails, these trees, I mean, this tree's probably 70 to 100 years old. There's bound to be something in here. So I'm gonna wait to change the blade until I hit something, if I hit something. But we're just helping out a friend here, milling up some beautiful lumber and thought we'd take you along and share it with you. Yeah.
Now, Mrs. Stony Ridge, you ready to work on some wood projects for our new house? I sure am. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Eventually. This has been absolutely beautiful. I'm so impressed with it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please pound the like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. See you later. Bye. Woo! Down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Little tractor. <laughs>